welcome to uh, the MOOC module on handling large scale unit level data with Stata. Uh, myself, Dr. Pratap Mohanty, faculty member uh, in the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences. We have already started the discussion on this particular module by you know making you familiarize with the basics of unit level data. We are trying to <coughs> uh, make you understood what type of different unit level data are available uh, for, for research at a larger context in India. And so far uh, we have already uh, you know, completed four lectures, this is our fifth lecture and uh, with this lecture we, we can able to finish the first week schedule, uh, first week lectures. And uh, in the last uh, two lectures particularly, uh, I unfolded the discussion on two important databases uh, on un un unit level. Those are uh, <coughs> National Sample Survey as well as National uh, India's Human Development uh, Survey. Uh, so, uh, that is called ISDS. So, those two we have already completed and there are number of uh, you know uh, number of variables also uh, dealt but still it, it requires you know, further attention when we introduce data in our next week. Uh, next week uh, we will steadily introduce once again with the databases for, 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 for working, uh, but majorly we will be, will be working with uh, will be working with uh, you know NSS National Sample Survey Database. Now, the last, last uh, you know, lecture on the first on the very first week of this module is on uh, understanding national family health survey data. Now, this is very unique in the sense that uh, this is one of the largest data set in the world so far as health uh, and its different measures are concerned. So, this is this unique platform on observing various qualities of health, especially women's health and child health care. And those who are interested in uh, you know linking their work to or, or, or wish to have a complete uh, devotion on working with the nutrition related issues and challenges related to poverty. Uh, and uh, challenges with the women, women empowerment, this is pro probably the best data set I, I have seen in Indian, you know, uh, among the Indian data sets. So, National Family Health Survey therefore, is very important for discussion. So, let us have a look and, uh, and again why this is important? Because this is very, very comparable, very much comparable and uh, under and th this this has been developed under the umbrella called uh, dhs demographic and health survey and it it collects data of various uh, countries uh, and uh, sticking to more or less the same format uh, the pattern of questions uh, in in all the rounds uh, though they are differing but the idea or the approach by which the questions are dealt in other countries are, are more or less similar. So, therefore, the data extracted or derived from this platform is comparable to other countries in the world. And that too this is also nationally representative, we will also discuss why this is so. So, national NFHA stands for National Family Health Survey and in India uh, the, the leading organization in this uh, database is IIPS International Institute of Population Sciences and uh, you know IIPS follows again uh, number of approaches to conduct the surveys and uh, so therefore, this is very authentic. Now, let me uh, understand the data through different perspectives. Now, as I already mentioned it is part of the DHS which is an international project designed to Act to come uh, collect data and the, those can be comparable across the countries. I have already mentioned and this is where uh, the first point stands. So, you may prepare one objective question like you know e why uh, is it the case that NFHS is comparable across the uh, globe or across the countries where DHS already uh, know, conducted surveys on, the, on, on health care. So, therefore, it is across the globe because many countries have been covered 
It is also called the Indian Demographic and Health Survey IDHS data. The National Family Health Survey is also called a large scale multi round uh, survey conducted in a representative sample of household throughout India. Now, we are going by the fifth episode now of NFHS, though the fifth episode data is not yet available for the public, but it is at the verge of finalization. <coughs> now, each successive round of NFHS had, has had two specific goals. One is to provide essential data on health and family welfare needed by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. And other agencies for policy and program related you know um, purposes <coughs> and to provide the information on the second aspect is to give information on important emerging health and uh, family welfare issues or you may say family welfare challenges. So, these two objective are actually based across the globe for uh, entire for entire uh, you know surveys in the world so far as DHS is concerned. The Minister of uh, Health and Family Welfare MOHFW located in Delhi under the government of India actually you know uh, designated uh, the IIPS that is Indian Institute of Population International Institute of Population Sciences Mumbai as the nodal agency as I already mentioned responsible for providing uh, coordination and technical guidance for the survey. The technical assistance for the NFHS was provided mainly by the uh, ORC macro that is uh, USA based and other organizations on specific issues. So far the technical uh, assistance and its authentication is concerned. The funding for different rounds of NFHS has been provided by jointly by USAID, uh, DFID, the Bill and uh, Melinda Gates Foundation, UNICEF. Uh, UNFPA, uh, MOHFW that is Government of India's Minister of Health and Family Welfare. So, there are so many topmost organizations who actually you know give funds for this purpose and they do expect number of uh, you know um, number of directions while granting the fund to the uh, uh, to the countries. Okay, so, eradicate number of challenges, number of goals and again these goals are also linked to uh, the SDGs where you know sustainable development goals, we can work related to healthcare. There are three important goals can be linked and we will certainly deal with, uh, deal with those aspects later. But at this moment I am just clarifying what is called NFHS and how it is important and what are the legacy behind NFHS. Now, so far as the implementation is concerned of NFHS, as I mentioned, it is an um, uh, MOH of W uh, and uh, the nodal agencies IAPS, then the funding agencies are all those. Uh, even uh, MacArthur is also important, Arthur is also important for uh, source of funding, you can take a note. Apart from the socio-economic information for of respondent, the survey provides information on many qualitative aspects of respondent or individual. Uh, those qualitative aspects co co are under family planning uh, or welfare, health services and utilization, maternal and child health, nutritional status or anemia among women and children both can be tapped, sexual behavior. Uh, women empowerment, domestic violence, even substance use, uh, substance use, uh, even intimate part partner violence as part of the domestic uh, violence um, content. And we can extract number of information out of it. First of all, when a detailed information on maternal and child health care is given, we can have a connection the relationship between mother and child and that too in different years. Though this is not a panel data, but some you know pseudo panel can be developed with certain techniques uh, at, at a different cohort level. The cohort may be your state level, may be at the district level, but you need to be very careful enough in making the cohort 
uh, quite rational in the sense in it has to be comparable across other other data sets and that too at across previous rounds. District level information are not available in all the rounds. I will discuss in a nutshell, uh, I mean, in, a, in my successive slides. What I just wanted to develop the curiosity here for, uh, for you as a researcher because uh, you know many challenges are there. India is still ranked, uh, you know, ranked uh, a, among the uh, countries rank quite below uh, in terms of uh, comparison among the countries in the world. It is still comparable to the African countries. So, so far as the hunger industry is concerned, India is actually ranked at a very poor level, you know it is. And so, therefore, if you are interested in comparing with other health indicators of other countries, uh, you can refer to other countries, African countries and their DHS database. And uh, you can compare the nutritional status the anemia level even though in nutritional uh, status you can uh, come you know uh, calculate their stunting level their uh, uh, their wasting level uh, uh, the or malnutritional related aspects even over nutrition under nutrition there are uh, you know there are possibility of research related to uh, double nutritional challenges multiple nutritional challenges within the household or within uh, or, or, or you know across the individuals. So, there are various possibilities. So, therefore, I am saying uh, you know uh, saying it is it is a rich database. Okay. Now, let us uh, go ahead with uh, certain other direction why NFH is needed when we have already nationally representative survey like NSSO. It is because of the case that NSSO may not be comparable with other countries in the world, whereas uh, NFHS is, it is strictly comparable, comparable because the approach considered in each country are more or less similar. And I will show you those the, the data sets how you can go through and how you can find the comparability. So, most detailed survey regarding women reproductive health and family planning. There is no such database in NSS which gives detailed observation on women's uh, reproductive health and their family planning. Similarly, uh, it is the only survey which provides the data on prevalence of HIV that is very, very interesting and uh, you know controlling HIV is one of the you know trivial question. Uh, across different forums and specially uh, since NFHS 3, NFHS 3 this has been included in the questionnaire. Though it is very sensitive you know uh, if I am a, an, an individuals uh, researcher I wanted to study at a ground level, but actually in the ground level the uh, persons or the women may not women or even men may not cooperate you. And so, in order to make them convinced and uh, unbiased, you require lots of you know interventions. So, lots of uh, you know uh, uh, you know lots of spending is also required for at an individual level. Without spending, probably they are not in a position to respond. Okay, some forms of you know incentivization are required, or some kind of the uh, you know uh, I mean uh, we may. Uh, mention as a as a as a form of intervention. So, interventions requires uh, you know uh, funds. So, at an individual level it is very difficult to capture uh, many issues. Whereas, since this is a larger platform and the nodal agency is IAPS, IAPS is famously known for uh, population related uh, research. So, therefore, the the information derived from this platform is quite authentic, authentic and comparable and uh, lots of research paper can be derived if you are sincere enough in understanding the database carefully. Uh, so, so, therefore, this is interesting HIV is considered. It is uh, it also conducts special survey on slum areas in uh, 8 big cities. So, slum related information you can also get it from NSS national sample survey, but uh, you know this coverage and the NSS coverage are not comparable. Let me make it very clear because the sampling frame considered by NSS and, and NFHS are entirely different. So, we cannot just you know one result from using strata of NFHS 
and another result of NSAs are not comparable. Okay. So, uh, be careful about uh, this particular databases. Oh, 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 where NFHS 4 includes all the states union territories, while previous rounds included states in Delhi as the uni union territories. Now, data information and so, uh, sources and utilization. So, what are the sources, wh which kind of databases, in which year those are studied? Five rounds, rounds of this survey has been conducted since its inception. She started with 1991-92. That was the first round uh, of, of, of data on, on um, health and family uh, welfare related information. And uh, the second round was, uh, was uh, published or the reported in 1998-99. Uh, third one is 2005 and 6. Fourth, there is a gap actually of, of 10 years. The fourth uh, occurred in 2015-16. And the fifth is in the process and about to be published soon as, as reported in their website. So, but so far only questionnaire is available in this regard. And this is in fact the original source uh, where uh, I uh, now you can uh, understand wh which are the round. This is NFHS 1 mentioned, this is NFHS 2, 3 and 4 and 5. And 5 here we have highlighted questionnaires. And uh, in the questionnaires, biomarkers are also interesting, uh, biomarkers are interesting and uh, it is important to note, we will also discuss in our uh, presentation, in my discussion. And uh, uh, this is from the IAPS source, uh, you know, International Institute of Population Sciences and uh, also NAP, uh, you know, National Family Health Survey is mentioned. And uh, so, downloadable data, if you click on the download here, it will link you to the DHS website. In the DH demographic health survey website, you can able to download the data in your right format. Maybe instead I will show you, uh, you know, in, 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 in the successive slides. Why this is important? What are the importance of this? If anybody uh, is interested in uh, having research in the area of marketing and finance, this data can also be useful like insurance coverage is also cover, is also given like insurance co coverage uh, how many are the person insured, insured and which are the sources of insurance it is private public or even interestingly the community health insurance is also given okay which is very difficult to tap and uh, and its respective definition is clearly given in the report those who are interested you may go through Drink, drinking water and treatment and uh, so far as the individual finance is concerned, how much out of pocket is actually borne by the individual in this regard can also be calculated. Mosquito net, uh, so far as marketing is concerned, how many are actually using mosquito net and uh, what kind of mosquito related diseases are there in the country. So, uh, even the morbidity profiles are clearly given in, in the database. So, therefore, it is quite important. So, far as social science is concerned, I think you should not look at uh, in isolation, these are actually quid pro quo and relationships uh, are there between these two uh, domain. Now, in the uh, I mean broadly if you categorize the social science and their importance, we can derive uh, information on uh, slum areas, child health, women empowerment. You know, uh, even the sociologists, the anthropologists are also highly interested in, in, in observing this, these two information carefully. Now, let us have a look further on uh, <coughs> the coverage of those uh, this database uh, like uh, in terms of men and women composition or their sample size in their different rounds. Now, it is very interesting to note, I will start with I will start with the last one that is NFHS 4 data set which is downloadable and uh, freely available to the public. Okay. Only you are supposed to register at the designated uh, place uh, that is through the online platform. So, so the, I will show you the link also. Now, here NFHS 4 cover, uh, cover 6 lakhs 1509 you know households which is much higher than that of any other database, unit level database in India is presently having. No database at a sing, uh, on a single round 
covered uh, such a large number of households. Out of this 6 lakhs <coughs> uh, 6 lakhs 99686 women are covered. Now, this is how I do not know we are actually different households ok these are number of women individual uh, women are covered and 1 lakh 12,122 uh, men are covered. Now, it is interesting to note what do you mean by women here who are the women covered. Now, though all individuals are covered, but mo most in interestingly all individual I mean men and women, but specifically NFH is defined eligible women that too with the age, age gap of age group of 15 to 49 and 15 to 49 is interesting to note because this is uh, as per the WHO uh, classification called you know reproductive age or the reproductive span. Uh, so, in the reproductive age this number are covered around 7 lakhs individuals are covered the, the, those are women and, and more than 1 lakh are covered as, as men and men as group are covered as 15 to 54. Now, if you look at combinedly you know men and women together. So, this leads to you know a, a complete household or if you combine together probably you will get a couple couple file you know the couple file uh, is also important so far as some of the specific answers are required specific research is, uh, is required ok. Whereas, NFH is 3 covered 1,9141 now compare you know NFH is 3 to NFH is 4 now the number actually multiplied or more than uh, around 6 times and uh, similarly for individual uh, and, and women and men now NFHS to uh, 91196 and other uh, figures you can read and uh, and all the rounds women informations are given whereas, in the first two men information are not covered and uh, so it is also NFHS 5 these since these are not published we are not mentioning this number uh, at this moment. So, questionnaires or the schedule used for all the rounds uh, are, are very important for, for, for analysis because you know <coughs> uh, because uh, the at the household level household information in all the rounds are co covered yes is given all the rounds you will get household information women or even all the rounds men only last 3 rounds if you are considering the NFHS 5 and the biomarkers only you know biomarkers started from NFHS 4 ok. So, NFHS 4 onwards the database is getting rich and uh, there are proper uh, calculation weight height you know informations are given with the professionals uh, health professionals and the biomarkers are carefully considered. The village informations are no or not presently recorded, so therefore information are not given. These are the link you can have a click on those link in our PPT. This PPT is uh, PPTs will be uploaded for your reference. If you just click here, you will be redirected to the DHS DHS website for login. And you just need to uh, enter if you are a student or if you are a researcher, you simply uh, give your basic details. You will be allowed to uh, you know uh, get the data otherwise you can also click here to uh, directly uh, get further information on NFHS. Now, this is the website I am referring to uh, and uh, this this is the user id you need to register here ok it calls for password uh, you need to enter a new password and you get the data and how it looks like how, how it looks like it looks like uh, you know uh, like this. India 2015-16 uh, that is the NFHS NFHS 4 data this is NFHS NFHS 3 and so on this is 2 and 1 and uh, so it is written as uh, in which phase those are covered and it is always advisable to the readers or to the researcher to get the latest uh, you know series of the data now the uh, DHS covered the 74 series you know I will show you how what why it is 74 there are some other series because there are some you know calculation added some record made by the institution and they help 
the individual researcher to get the authentic source and the correct data. So, earlier series may not be referred. So, I, I will show you. Now, uh, so therefore, record is given, record as the column uh, is given because they carefully provide the latest episodes of the data. And uh, you know, uh, GPS indicator that is a, another interesting indicator so far as India's data set is concerned. From NFHS 4 onwards, GPS informations are, are available. In the previous round, uh, the, the geographical positioning information is not available. I think if you can look at uh, Dr. William Joe paper of paper published in uh, EPW. Uh, basically try to look at looked at the parliamentary constitutions and their impact on development how a politician uh, lead with uh, lead with uh, the policy changes how carefully or sen uh, sensitive the politician is in developing their constitution so you can get the constitution data by geographical positioning system and its availability Okay, so, there is, so therefore, this is little rich and uh, <coughs> HIV and other biomarkers data available since you know, NFHS 3 onwards I have already mentioned in the previous slides. Now, this is the DHS data set where you can able to download. So, like you know as I told you 74 is the series 74 is written here and uh, this is couples information, birth information, household information, individual information. Individual information with the code is IR given uh, that is called individual record and record data is important because they have already recorded some of the variable for our EGUs. And uh, you know a couple information with the code CR, a birth record with the uh, code BR, but the 74 series is important and it is available. Now, what else is important in this page? You know to check carefully which data set you are going to download. So, uh, since we are using DTA dot DTA format that is data data, uh, our module is on data. Uh, so, uh, our title of the uh, of the uh, you know MOOC uh, you know schedule or MOOC module is is on handling large scale unit level data with data. So, Stata data set I will suggest you to download it is it is friendly and user friendly and, 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 and faster. So, uh, so there are even though if you are comfortable enough in SPSS also you can download SPSS data here, SAS data set is also there even in the notepad file data set is there ASCII format data set is also there. So, I will suggest you download the Stata data set and uh, start looking at the instruction we are you know, uh, you know giving to you. Let me proceed for the next uh, information number of questions dealt uh, in 4 rounds so far uh, of NFHS from 1992, 93 till uh, 15, 2015, 16. Uh, so, uh, let me uh, read between the lines of the of the of the, of the table where respondents background uh, the number of uh, you know informations are given uh, is, is is mentioned here. Uh, we are referring to the case innovation and uh, Rakesh Misra EPW paper that was published in 2020 very recently in the volume number six. So uh, 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 reproduction uh, also information are there, and uh, so number of questions dealt. This this is important because how many questions on this particular issue is is there. Look at there are in the NFHS 4, 59 question on rep reproductions are there which is too interesting. So far as contraception use is there and family planning and contraception how matured our society is in, in using contraception. Uh, uh, so, it is actually a healthy symbol uh, of managing you know population. So, look at there are 51 variety of questions are covered. So, qualitative in nature. Uh, and uh, looking at uh, utilization of ICDS, those who are very interested, uh, very uh, interested in program related, you know, uh, analysis. Uh, ICDS program is internationally famous. Now, this is considered to be one of the very uh, successful programs so far as healthcare is concerned in India. And uh, ICDS utilization, uh, I mean, uh, the coverage of it actually started from NFHS three. So, there are 15 questions covered. 
So, but in this particular question, I will suggest as an individual researcher, you should do a parallel field study because the information 15 variety of questions are though, though covered, but not exhaustive. Okay. Still many you know challenges are there for, for, for better uh, coverage. Similarly, sexual life, fertility preferences, household background and work, household relations, HIV, HIV already mentioned uh, the, from the very you know latest uh, you know, two episodes, we are covering you know uh, HIV AIDS information. And in total, 517, you know, information uh, questions are covered in, in the latest uh, round of an NHS. So, for number of questions uh, in the household questionnaire is concerned, it is 77. In the latest round, number of questions related to main questionnaire is 231. And uh, biomarker question, interestingly, there are 156 variety of questions, biomarkers. So, therefore, you can able to uh, uh, get a scientific observation on it. In, in total, there are 981 uh, questions covered. So, you can just follow uh, this is also a, the source of is given William Joe, uh, you know, with the US Minister of, uh, you know, um, CDS, uh, US William Joe, uh, uh, Professor William Joe of uh, Institute of Economic Growth published in the paper EPW is quite interesting. And so, therefore, we are referring for your analysis and look at uh, they, they, they derive some you know uh, uh, interesting result out of uh, the NFHS uh, 4. Uh, here co compare the you know uh, the top quintile and bottom quintile uh, you know uh, population. Look at the gap and how the differences are there in different states. I am not analyzing these details at this moment you can follow it up and this is very indicative. Now, the legacy of 25 years of NFHS is important because of the fact that India participated in the NFHS uh, you know uh, or the DHS format since 1989, but the first report was published in 1995. The biomarkers as I said for children and men were added from, from NFHS 3 rounds onwards, whereas women biomarkers have been since its inception that is from the first round onwards women information is given and their biomarkers are given. So, PRC's uh, population research centers are selected for the survey uh, uh, based on the bidding process, but not on their performance that is one of the criticism given in the recent uh, paper uh, so far as NFHS is concerned. Commercial agencies take very less time in managing the survey. Nowadays, they are actually bestowing upon the commercial agencies instead of the PRCs. Only three PS PRCs are actually considered uh, for this purpose, whereas they are simply giving to the commercial agencies which is consuming less time, but actually they are skipping uh, very qualitative questions. They cover the questions at a very less time, which is uh, you know raising huge question, which, which huge doubts on their uh, you know survey process. The district level information was included for the first time in NFHS 4 as I already mentioned. So, therefore, district level you know comparison in the previous round is not possible uh, and uh, NFHS considers wealth index instead of consumption expenditure. So, they, they gives the you know uh, the wealth information not the income as such. Inequality, inequality can be measured through asset ownership since wealth index is given. So, uh, in NFHS 4, 3 new assets have been added uh, and they are internet, washing machine and AC. So, please follow those uh, details uh, in the you know data set, you can able to get it. I think I have already given enough information, we will experiment with the data in our respective you know lecture with this let me stop here, thank you.